Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Today, I'm showing you how to make some peri peri chicken, your very own homemade marinade, which you can tweak and pimp all the way you want. Have a go. Ah, uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. So I had a request come through on Facebook from Craig Hughes. All right, Craig, how's it going, mate? Uh, cheers for the request. Piri, piri chicken. Bear with me, you've got something behind your ear, but I just didn't get something up. Tomato sauce, really? You need to, yeah. Uh, yeah, so cheers, Craig, uh, for the recipe suggestion. I'm very excited, I'm kind of uh -huh, like that. I hit pause on the video now and write all those ingredients down. Let's just get straight into it, piri piri style. Mm. Okay, so we are going to jump straight into it. These are some red chilies, and they're in my cake tin because, again, I can't find the roasting tin. So if you borrowed it, come have it back. Uh, let's plonk it on that middle shelf for a minute. We're going to roast them up for about 10 minutes. No oil on there. Stalk still on. Better shut the door, uh, and we'll just that will start the process of the recipe because we're cooking now. So with the chilies in the oven, I wanted to show you the chicken I'm using, which kind of looks like a chicken mobile phone. Hello, um, I'd like to order chicken, please. No. Uh, basically, I went in the supermarket last night to get a whole chicken and they didn't have any. So I've got these drumsticks and thighs, and thighs, incidentally, I used to be a breast man before Virgin Kitchen, but the thighs, darn good. So that's what I'm using. Get a chicken, a whole one if you can, and then just like tear it apart, because it's cheaper, cheaper than that. What I've got here is a lovely pair of jugs. This one is 100 millilitres of olive oil, we'll put that to the back. Now this jug, we're going to get 50 millilitres in there, okay? Red wine vinegar, lemons and limes. So we're going to get as much juice as we can out of the limes. Yeah. And the same with the lemons. Try and get about 25 millilitres in there if you can. So I've just topped up my red wine vinegar up to the 50 ml line, and that is ready to go and combine. The two jugs combine into one. Wow! Okay, so just before we get our chilies out, this is a saucepan and there's no flame there. There's no flame. So pour in. <coughs> Cat noise optional. <coughs> uh, olive oil first. And then the lemon lime red wine vinegar combo. In fact, let's have a little taste. Ooh! That's got a little kick. That's going in the pan. All right, just to show you inside that pan, uh, it's kind of like a red oil spill right now. So we've got some garlic cloves here. I've literally just peeled them. I'm just gonna chuck those in. This is some paprika. I've got a tablespoon of that. And this is half a teaspoon of oregano. In that goes. So you can mix it up a little bit with a spoon if you want to, but all we've got to do now is grab those chilies out and they sound like they're bursting a little bit. They're crackling, which is good. And we're gonna chop them up and chuck them in there with this. Right, so those chilies are out of there. I've started to cut the lids off them because that's all I'm doing. Just getting rid of that nasty green bit. Although they do kind of like carrots right now. Uh, so let me just show you one with my knife here, one-handed. Straight through like that. Push that to one side. Remember, the more seeds and obviously the more chilies you're using, the stronger it's going to be. Okay then, children. So with your chilies all beheaded, get them and just plonk them straight in the oil like that. We're going to whiz them up in a blender in a bit anyway, so there's no need to chop them yet. Ooh, they're still kind of hot. All right, just wanted to show you, there's a flame, and in comes our saucepan, I just to give it a little stir together there. With there being quite a bit of oil in there, under that flame, it's not going to take long to bring it up to a simmer, which is what we're after. We're going to get it to that stage, and then blend it up, baby. Oh, yeah. All right, not sure if you can see there, but that pan is simmering away. I'm going to let it simmer for about 90 seconds, maybe even push it to two minutes. We'll let you know how that goes. And then we're going to just turn it off, let it cool down, but keep a safe distance away from it. It's scary. All right, so now that your mixture has fully cooled down, get your chopping device, ding ding, of choice, because we're going to whirl it up, baby. So I'm just using tongs initially just to drop in the chunkier stuff, then just pour your oil in on top. Oh yeah. All right, so I'm just going to pour that oil in now. Oh my goodness, that is the money shot right over that stem like that. Look at that. Wicked. Look at all those seeds going in. That, my friends, is going to be the strong bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Choptastic. All right, so once you're happy with it, grab a little spoonful and go. Ooh, wow. In the words of Jim Carrey, that is smoking. Um, that's good. If you want to calm it down, add some more olive oil, maybe some more paprika, even a little bit of sugar, more herbs. If you want to spice it up, add more chilies, my friend. Wow. All right, so you might remember that tin that we used to roast those chilies. Oh yeah, it's cooled down now. And I've put the chicken in there, like it's fully cooled down. And I made some incisions into the chicken because I really want that marinade, boom. <laughs> Boom, when we pour it on there, I'm gonna pour about half of it on there. I want that to sort of soak right in there, like be in the jungle, looking around, getting right that flavor, drilling it, drilling. 
you know what I'm saying, get that flavor right in there. So ideally you wanna leave that marinade on top of it for hours, you know, possibly even overnight. But I'm gonna just whack some clean film on there, shove it in the fridge for about an hour, because that's about all the time I've got today, and then we'll get cooking. Wow. All right, so let's just pour some on like so. Remember you need to keep some for later, because when you're cooking it, you wanna baste it in this. So that'll be enough for now. I'm gonna push it all in, work it round, the back of my spoon, coat it, get it all up and down there, flip it over too, and then we'll seal it in the fridge for a bit. All right, I've given that 45 minutes, but I can't wait any longer. I'm busy, I'm busy. Come into the fridge with me. Hang on a sec, this is our fridge. This is our little calendar, and down here in the tray there, a bit of champagne, see that? A bit of champagne, always good in the fridge. Uh, yeah, here is our cling film wrapped chicken. Nice hot griddle pan here. And what I'm literally gonna do, here we, I'll just pick one leg up now. I'll do it all off camera in just a sec, but I'm gonna put one right here. Woo! Cook away, get your other four pieces in there, just briefly. Alrighty then, so after flashing that in the griddle pan for a couple of minutes either side, you could use the frying pan, I put it back in our trusty cake tin, obviously that chicken is a little more cooked through now which is good, pushing that flavour back in, giving it a nice big topping up of that marinade and now it's going to go in the oven. Right, in that goes again then, back on the middle shelf in our trusty oven. Uh, it's going to be about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, but about halfway through I'm going to take it out and add even more marinade. Crazy, yeah? All right, I'm not gonna lie. And do you notice how people say, I'm not gonna lie, you normally are lying. I am not lying, I promise. Um, this actually took 25 minutes. Give it another base. Boom! Check that out. <gasps> that is smelling and looking darn good. I can't wait to taste this. Um, it's my lunch, so I'm not gonna serve it with anything flash. I'm just gonna have some salad with it. Wicked. All right then, folks, I'm gonna have a drumstick and tuck straight in, and I can't believe how easy it was to make that. You don't even have to do the griddle stage if you don't want to. You can whack it under the grill, or just keep it in the oven. It's all good, my friend. So let me have a, a bite of this. Um, oh my goodness, I just, I just want to keep slapping myself. That flavor is just like, wow. It's just not too overpowering, because I tweaked it the way I want. Probably got sauce all over my face. I just want to get like that, like a dog. Like a, sorry, just getting a little bit personal there. But if I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Wow. Let me know how you get on and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye. Thanks for watching the video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to please give a thumbs up and share if you did so all your friends and family can find out about the joy that is my virgin kitchen. Over there on the right hand side is the last video I did. Patatas bravas. It was a Spanish tapas dish like spicy potatoes. Oh, it was amazing. Don't forget to check out myvirginkitchen.com for over 500 other video recipes and I'll see you again next time.